What's up guys? So today we're gonna talk about propane fire pits. Check out Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Anvil's Adventures merchandise and more. We, uh, I got this one uh, for Christmas this year. My wife was uh, knocked it out of the park with this one. That's something I've been wanting. Um, we, this is an outland living uh, propane fire pit, portable propane fire pit. We, we've been using these for about a year and a half, um, and probably not a year and a half, probably a year. And it has made life at camp so much better. Um, it's one of those things that something around a camp, just sitting around camp, around the campfire, uh, just hanging out with family and friends. That's what makes camping, camping, if you ask me. So, uh, and the cool thing about these propane fire pits is for the most part, um, they can be used anywhere, even when there's burn bans or uh, just places that don't allow uh, fires. For the most part, you can use these. Uh, I'd still suggest when you're going places, check with all the um, local authorities on different things. Make sure you can. But for the most part, they're approved. And you can use these even during burn bans. Um, they're smokeless. You don't have to worry about anything, embers or anything jumping out of them or anything like that. Um, but this one, uh, I got, we got off of Amazon. Um, it was right now, I think it's $92. It's on sale. Um, so it's, um, kind of go over the dimensions of this one. One we've been using is a round one and it is, I think 20 inches around round. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than this one. This is actually 14 by 14 inch square. Um, it is 20 inches from corner to corner diagonally. Um, it's about nine and a half inches tall. Uh, so this is how it comes. It comes just like this. Um, I was going to do an unboxing video, but I got it for Christmas morning. So I went I had to kind of had to just go ahead and open it. I was excited. Um, but it comes with everything you need and it comes already assembled. The only thing you have to do is open up the lava rocks that are inside it. Excuse me, the lava rocks, I think they come in three different bags. You just cut those open and pour them in there. Um, just a side note on that, I would be cautious doing that in the house, that the dust will go everywhere. So um, don't just take the bag and dump them in there. I, I took, I reached and grabbed them because there was, oh gosh, there's probably an inch of dust in each bag. So. Uh, I would caution, caution, caution you, ugh, I can't talk tonight. Uh, I would caution you to not just dump them in there because that dust is going to go everywhere. Unless you're outside, but then that dust is going to get in here. So every time you carry it, it's just, just don't dump them in there. Um, and other than that, it comes with a already, and everything is already installed. Everything's done. This is a, uh, eight foot, I believe is what this is, hose. This hose is eight foot. So it gets, um, it gets you your propane bottle away from the fire, which will help just safety wise. And just allows you to move things around um, as you, you know, as you would want to. Um, so all that comes ready to go. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to act put the hose on, anything like that. You unbox it and you can pretty much put the lava rocks in there and you can do your thing. Um, the regulator is already on the hose. Um, just screw this into your bottle just like you would any kind of gas grill, any kind of gas fire pit. I'm sure you've used them before. Um, but that's kind of, how, kind of it. Uh, it comes with a strap that holds the lid on and this, I mean, it, and it is on there. It's not going to come off. It's a pretty durable strap. Um, and this kind of stretches a little bit. So it gives you a pretty good place to get your handle. Um, this is a 58,000 BTU. Um, it is 
right at 19 pounds. Um, and I don't know if you can see here, but you've got the controls here. So um, one of the things, these do not come with an igniter. Um, you can use a match. We typically just, I bring um, lighter with me and that's what I'll use to uh, light those. I use a lighter most of the time to light my stove, even though it has an igniter. Most of the time those igniters go bad. The first thing that'll go bad on something. So, but that's basically it. It, um, it's all metal design. There's no plastic on this anywhere. Uh, even the base of it is metal. Um, like I said, it's about 20 pounds. This one, the reason I, the reason I was wanting this one versus the round, the bigger ones, um, I'm in a Wrangler, so as always, space is uh, an issue. And this one is square. I just, I mean, you know how it is. Having something square, straight edge is flat. You're gonna have a better time packing it. Um, and I'm fixing to do some stuff on the Jeep. I changed the way I'm hauling some stuff. I'm fixing to add a another roof rack in front of the rack I have my tent on. Uh, and I'm gonna have a case up there that this will actually fit in along with my bedding and other stuff. Um, so it, it, it fits all my needs. Um, we use this at camp, um, it was about 16, 17 degrees. We used the, used one like this, the round one we had. Um, and it really made a difference inside the, we had an awning, put the walls up and it made a huge difference. Um, it burns off the propane. So it's probably not, uh, I don't know that doing using these in a completely enclosed environment is the smartest thing, um, but uh, in that situation, there's enough open air. Uh, but it it being 17 outside, it got our our little area inside the awning at least 20 degrees warmer. So I mean, it made made things more manageable while we were out there. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's I just haven't seen a lot of reviews on these. So that's why I want to do one. Plus it was kind of the new thing that I got for Christmas. Um, it's, I'm going to, uh, there's multiple brands and different things you can do with these. Um, take this lid off. So it comes with this strap has, has some just basically hooks on the end of it. So they'll, so it just kind of hooks onto the side. And it's got the logo here on the front of the lid there. Uh, but the lid just pops off. Lava rocks are down in there. Um, so once you turn the gas on, just take your lighter and it'll usually ignite pretty quick. Um, these, uh, there's different, like I said, different ones, different, there's some round ones, there's some square ones, uh, bigger diameter, different ones. This is the smallest one I think I've seen. Uh, there's a few out there that have, that come with grills, the grates, and then they come with uh, woks, baking stones, different ones. Um, so this one's kind of uh, a bare metal. This is basically just a fire pit uh, with a lot, but it comes with the lava rocks already. I'm gonna try to find a grill grate that will fit over this. Um, and get it to where it'll sit on there. I mean, you can grill on I mean, it's a, It's no different than the flame you're using for any of your camp stoves or uh, from a grill at home. So I'm probably gonna do that now. I have no idea how that's gonna pan out with the grease and stuff dropping on the lava rocks. That's something I'm gonna kinda have to um, figure out as far as cleaning goes. Um, these rocks can be dumped out real easy and it looks like it would be easy to clean if anything gets down in there. But um, that's kind of something I'm trying to decide if that's what I want to do or not. Uh, in a pinch, you could put, having a grate or something, you boil water or whatever you may need. Uh, so you could, I mean, you can cook with this, uh, but it's not a multifunction, at least when it's not made to be multifunctional. Uh, I'm just going to try that. If anybody's used one of these um, and you've tried that and it didn't work or it did work or whatever, leave a, uh, leave a comment, let us know kind of how that went. And as I try it, I'll come back and put some, um, updates in the comments. Um, but that's pretty much it. It, it definitely makes, 
camp a lot. Um, having a campfire is the, you know, probably the greatest thing about camping. Um, just hanging out with friends and stuff and family. But these uh, just give you an option when an actual fire is not. I mean, we, we're in Tennessee, so we get a lot of rain. We don't get a lot of burn bans, but there are some parks and different places we can, in our state that don't allow uh, bringing in wood. You have to buy wood there. Different things, you can't cut wood, but if you can pick up anything on the ground and burn. Uh, but this, these are approved in all, of, in all of our state parks. And it's just, a, it kind of eliminates some of that guessing of whether or not you can or you can't. Um, it's still wise to always check with your rangers, check with your, uh, the forest service, whoever, whoever you're uh, dealing with in the area you're in. It's always good to make sure they are approved and you can use them. But for the most part, you'll be able to use these anywhere you go. Uh, and that's it. I mean, I, it's not gonna, I mean, you're not gonna, this is not like having a big bonfire where you can get 25 people around it, but you know, if there's four or five of you at camp, you get this thing turned on, you kind of get around it, it, it can definitely put out enough heat to keep you warm on those cold, cold nights, cold mornings. Um, one thing I will say about them, the, there's not a good way to test how long the they'll last as far as for a propane, 20 pound propane bottle. So just kind of one of those things, depending on what, if you're running it real low, high and all that kind of stuff, we normally with a 20 pound bottle can get through a weekend. Um, we just, we kind of run it periodically at night and stuff like that. So, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, but a hundred bucks, you can't beat it. Saves you from having to carry wood, saves you from having to, uh, uh, do a, you know, get a fire built, make sure all the embers are out and doing all the things. A fire is a big responsibility. And even these are, I mean, these can, these could cause some issues if you're not careful, but, um, they are, I would say a little bit cumbersome, but that's why I went with the square one and the smaller one. And you do have to have the propane bottle. You do have to have a propane bottle. You can't run one of these off of the one pound green bottles. It just, they, I mean, if you get an adapter where you can, it's probably not gonna last very long. So I would suggest having a 10, 20 pound bottle um, to run one to get you through a weekend. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, we got a few more, other, a few more things coming up. I'm gonna do some reviews on. We got a, while I was at the Expo East this, uh, last year now we um got a geyser camp shower that thing is awesome uh, i'm going to do a review on it kind of show you the, how it works and everything and then got a few more other things we're going to do some reviews on we got some trips planned we're going to be back at lbl at the end of this month uh, with some guys up there i'm going to film that i know we've been at lbl a lot but it's um lbl is a great place to go hang out we'll do some camping up there we love it up there um Probably going to get over to the Ozarks, hopefully sometime in February. And plan is to try to get to one of the expos out west um, this year. Um, definitely go back to Expo East again. We we had a, me and my two younger daughters, we had a blast. Um, and I, got, I think we're going to try to get some stuff. My oldest daughter's going to college in southern Illinois, so there's a couple of state parks, some parks and stuff up there and forest national forest up there in southern illinois that we're going to go check out too so i'll be filming that uh so we got a got a lot of stuff planned for 2020 and um another thing using a new camera for this video and um i got a new mic had a lot of people complaining saying i wasn't the audio was not great on the video so let me know in the comments if it sound if the audio is better and which if the video quality is any better than what i've been using i was you know um, had been using GoPros, so I got a different camera now. Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification so you know when videos are coming up. Um, and uh, if you haven't been over to Shop Overland Apparel, where our they've got our hoodies, t-shirts, um, got a new design coming out this year. Um, they'll be on the storefront hopefully pretty soon. 
uh, shop overland fixing to do a um, kind of a membership a three minute three month membership um, where you it's just kind of a recurring thing and I think they send you a shirt a, a shirt of their of their choosing um, every month for three months um, so that's pretty cool they're offering hats and stuff so we may do some hats and some other stuff too but that's kind of where we're at and uh, we'll be back hopefully be more consistent this year weekly putting out content that's kind of my plan I'd like to grow the channel and um, and just see where it goes so but anyway thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one